And the Big 89 WLS, David Hochberg's here. Good morning, Mr. Hochberg. Good morning. How you doing, bud? Fine, thank you. Let's see here. Uh, Dave and Crystal Lake, thank you. Margaret and Bridgeport, chiming in. Happy birthday. Appreciate it very much. So thank you for that. You look fantastic. Well, you know, when you take care of yourself like I do. You know, yeah. my body's a Buddhist temple. That's right. I don't know if you know that about me. <laughs> uh, and that skincare routine mm -hmm. is definitely working out for you. I like to take about a half gallon of uh, moisturizer and just dump it on my head every morning. You should think about going full gallon just to say it's a little dry out there. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. No problem. It. Just yeah, trying to help. Uh, we've got a bunch of money information to uh, get to, and then during the break, we'll have uh, David Hochberg cut the cake. Did you make this? I did not. I got it. It's a chocolate peanut butter just take pie. the credit. Nobody's going to know. Yeah, Chocolate, she made it. Yeah, but the labels pie. on the front. Nobody's well, it's tough to get a container. Make those. It's tough to get a container with labels like and that. And that big, yeah. too. So good. Because it you're so, so modest. Delicious. That's, not, that's not like a little Baker Square one. That's a big pie. So thank you. Thank you, George Bliss. Thank you all for the happy birthdays. Appreciate it. Um, all right, David Hockman, we have much to talk about here. Yes. Um, including a survey that says, here's how much money you need to afford a home by city. So Is that crazy? If uh, you're leaving Chicago and moving to San Jose, uh, it's going to cost you 450 grand. That's annual, the median price? Median annual income is what it's going to cost you to live in San Jose. Oh, that's not the cost of the house. That's how much money you need to make. That's what it costs for you to afford to live in that city. Yikes. My God. San Francisco, 339 Gs. LA, 279. San Diego, 270. New York's only 213. It's less oh, yeah. than half. It, it, it's on sale. My, my wife's going to New York for some... Uh, she takes my kids when they turn 16 in New York. They take this... Daughter mother trip, right? She's going, yeah, you know, where you know, where should we go to eat? Now, I, I moved out of New York when I was seven, fifty years ago, right? As if I know where the hell to go to eat. So so she's looking up restaurants. She's like, Could you believe this? I'm like, what? She's like, a salad's fifty dollars. I'm like, well, my vote is you don't go to that restaurant. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> fifty dollars right. for yeah. a couple yeah, of pieces yeah, yeah. of lettuce and yeah. a tomato? It's... I mean, what what are we doing here? Right. I'm like, is is there like is there a two for one coupon or something there? I'm like, what the hell's going on? So you know, the good news is Chicago isn't in the top fourteen, right? M Miami's number fourteen at 151 G. Salt Lake City surprisingly is 150 grand. Washington D.C. You would expect that with all the elected officials there, 166. But Boston's expensive. Boston. Six of the ten most expensive cities are in California. Yeah, which are so nothing's wow. changed there. No. Six more reasons why I don't like California. So, and the income needed to live in any of those cities is up a hundred percent in the last twenty years. God, is, is that crazy? Mm -hmm. It's just absolutely out of control. So. Uh, I just thought that that would be interesting to talk about today. But San Jose, California. You know, all I know about San Jose, California is that they got a hockey team called the San Jose Sharks. Right. I didn't realize you needed 454 Gs to live in San Jose. Where the hell is San Jose, Steve? You it's get, you it's, know. it's it's uh, close to, uh, you know, where all the tech stuff is. Oh, oh okay. Well, that makes sense. But the uh, San Francisco, which I mean, is Who knew there were sharks in San Jose? That's the other thing. Yeah. Well, uh, well, well, they don't know either because their hockey team sucks. So, uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, San Francisco, which is number two, as you said. Yeah, a lot of IT stuff you know what, going on in San Francisco. I, what, I know San Francisco is notoriously expensive, but... It's one hundred and fifty thousand dollars more expensive, yeah. or you need to make one hundred fifty thousand more to live in San Jose. Just the discrepancy it's between crazy. one and two is crazy. And and boys and girls, inflation turns out it's not over. No, it's not. What over. happened? Yeah, you know the the challenge with inflation is is that you think you got it covered. Then wow, here I'll give you two statistics on a three month annualized basis. There's something called super core inflation, which jumped a whopping nine point six point nine percent. In February, core services, less shelter inflation is a key metric that, 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 that the Fed follows, which is known as the super core inflation. January, the metric jumped 0.7 month over month, the biggest jump since September of 2022. Here's, here's a couple of things. The, the uh, consumer price index was at 3.2 the other day. Car insurance, here's what's going crazy. Insurance is absolutely out of control. It is. Homeowners insurance and car insurance mm -hmm. have jumped dramatically. We used to price out 100 to 125 $150 for somebody when they're going to pre-qualify for a home. We got to put in 2 250 now. Easily. It has gone absolutely Well, this is, another, this is another reason you got to vote. This is another reason that you got to be involved. Because while Congress is dicking around and stuff that doesn't matter, yes. right. prices like this, that they're lobbied uh, until they go, okay, 20% is fine. No one will notice. Right. 
That's what's got to stop. Absolutely. Car repair inflation. Okay. So take a step back and listen to the ads that are run on the radio and that are played on TV. All of these extended car warranties Mm -hmm. have just been flooding the market in the past 24 months. Why? Because the price of cars have gone up over the past two years. The cost to finance those cars have gone up. What are people doing? They're not buying cars in, in the in the amount that they did during the pandemic right. when rates were at two and three percent and you could walk off the 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 lot or wait six six, eight weeks for a car to be delivered and get a low rate. Now they're at six, seven percent. So a lot of the listeners are now keeping their cars longer. I bought my lease out, right? I I I, I you know we just got rid of my daughter's car seven years because a sensor went i'm like all right here we go right so we got her a two-year-old used car okay so all of these expenses are pumping in to your life and it's cramming down your disposable income and that's where all this inflation a couple of the other big ones guys car repair inflation just mentioned is up 6.7 percent hospital services god forbid you need to go to a hospital is up six percent uh, homeowner inflation, ho- the price of homes, believe it or not, continues to go up. Mm-hmm. Rent inflation is up 5.8%. Food away from home inflation. When oh, the prices to eat out are insane. Ridic- ridiculous. It's, it is absolutely ridiculous. I mean, you literally Even cannot, fast food. You can't go pick up a sandwich. You uh-huh. get a sandwich 15 bucks. and a drink. It's 15 at least. Absolutely. At least. Yeah. Absolutely. I, or like I, a salad and a, and a Coke is I refuse. Bucks. I tell my wife, I'm done. I am not I paying these prices. And until more people... Do what I'm doing, mm-hmm. right? I went out and grilled uh, uh, two nights ago. I was outside grilling. It was a great night. I love grilling. Yeah. I throw a couple of burgers on there. The wife's a leaf feeder. One of my kids a leaf feeder. Throw a couple of Boca Veggie burgers, burgers on there. You know, we're in and out for maybe a leaf what? feeder. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, but, <laughs> no, but you know what? Here, here's the thing with my wife. She'll go for the Gucci purse, but she, you know, she'll wear the leather, but she won't eat the meat that's under the right. leather. Go for the leather right. shoes, not a problem. <laughs> go for the leather right. jacket. Maybe it's pleather. Not a problem. No, it's real leather. <laughs> pleather. My wife's not wearing pleather. So, but God forbid she eats a hamburger. Okay? 708 texture. Tell David to take a breath. We need him to stick around. Uh, Mike in Oswego says, dicking around stuff that doesn't matter. You mean like the concert ticket fees you were just talking about? No, Mike, it does matter. <laughs> oh, it totally matters. Because we're talking kidding? about what it costs to live life. It dumps Absolutely. into this. Yes. Okay, so wait. People are still going to buy homes. People are still going to buy yes. cars. You still have to go on and, and live and your hold, life. Hold that thought. Yes. Okay. We'll take a break. Oh, we'll give okay. David a hug. All right. Yeah. And then when we come back, he's going to tell us what the Fed's going to do to interest rates yeah. coming up. Yeah. He's got his Karnak hat on. I'll tell you what I almost Karnak. did prior to the show while I was listening to you when I went to the bathroom. It's a great story. Okay, oh, good. my goodness. Yeah. With I a setup like that, that, I can't wait yeah. to hear. Let's okay. hope he forgets what he just said. Oh, Hockberg's going. Hockberg and I have been friends for a long time. He's going, well, what are you doing? You doing exciting? I go, no, man, 63 doesn't matter. He goes, yeah, you're just happy to get out of bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you're not that true. far behind me, Timmy. <laughs> I'm 57. Yeah. I feel like I'm 63 from there. Yeah. So, so I, it's not like when you were twelve and I was eighteen. It's different now. I yeah. understand. Before I understand. he tell, before you tell your your bathroom story, yeah. I I do have a question. So, sure. as I said, people have to buy homes. People yeah. have to buy cars. You have to live we have, you have to live. Right. Absolutely. Are we going to be back in a situation like Freddie and Fanny, where they're giving out loans to people who can't afford to pay them, or should no. they even be taking out loans? No, the days I've been doing this, I've been originating loans since August of two thousand. Yeah. So I've seen. The Wild West days of the subprime loans. I see the. I went through the crash. I went through Harp One, Harp Two, Tarp, all that stuff. Right. Yeah. Uh, the 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 Bush stimulus, the Obama stimulus, all the good and the bad. Mm-hmm. Okay. To get a loan through today, you need. I don't know how you get a fraudulent loan through today with all of the checks and cross checks and triple checks we have to do to make sure you're not a straw buyer or a straw. Uh, you know, a fake buyer trying to buy something or, you know, printing W-2s and, and tax returns with Photoshop or however people did that. We have to pull tax return transcripts from the IRS. We have to triple triple measure before we cut. So I don't, back in the day, it was a wild west. People were doing some crazy stuff and those people are gone out of the business, right? Yeah. They're back yeah. doing whatever they were doing prior to getting the mortgage business. You need licensing. So the Level of professionalism and the quality of loan originator has has been elevated 15 times from where we were 
in 07 and 08 when everything collapsed. So I, I don't think we're ever going to get back there. Now, there's always scumbags out there that are doing nefarious things that are going to originate fraudulent loans. And there's, gonna, and there's people, Andrea, who yeah. originate pot, you know, perfectly good loans and something happens to those borrowers. Somebody gets injured, somebody dies, somebody sure. gets divorced, somebody loses their job or both borrowers. Those things happen, right? In a perfect world, we all want to live in a bubble and, 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 and nothing ever bad happens to anybody. But in, in, in the real world, bad things happen and loans are going to go bad. So there's always going to be a percentage of loan that goes, loans that go bad, no matter what you try to do. Right. It's just we have to reduce the amount of loans that go bad due to fraudulent activity. Which which has been curbed over the since the collapse. Dot Frank cleaned up a lot of that. Well, garbage. I mean, there's shady operators, but there's also shady customers. Hundred percent, and both make everything worse. Um, so, what's the Fed going to do? Uh, the Fed, listen, Fed chair. It, it's so frustrating because Fed chair Powell was at, on the Capitol we, uh, last week. He spoke in front of the House one day, spoke in front of the Senate the other day. Okay, this guy's like E.F. Hutton. Remember those commercials when E.F. Sure. Hutton talks, yeah. Yeah, everybody listens. Yep. Okay, so when he was on when 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 he was on the hill testifying, the the interest rates dropped a half a point. Okay, I mean we, we had a huge rally last week. We locked more loans last week than we had in the past sixteen months. Wow, because rates were so low, and he gave confidence in the market. <laughs> Monday comes around, yeah. the inflation numbers come out, and here come the steel toe boots right to the groin. All right, <laughs> rates rally. <laughs> we 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 gave back everything we picked up last week, and you know the people you quoted, whatever you quoted last Monday and Tuesday for a rate, found a house Monday and Tuesday of this week, and you're like, all right, well, you know the the rates now this, and they're like, oh, you're screwing me. I'm like, well, that's great. Well, and this is this is one of Biden's biggest problems. There's no confidence in the White House. Nothing. There's no right, confidence right. in the Fed right. uh, to fix the economy, right. and, and the economy needs to be fixed because regardless how much the stock market's roaring, and it has. Still what do I always say? There's two economies. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's the investment economy, and there's the real people economy. And, this and the real people economy yes. is expensive, penalty yes. uh, feeling, and, uh, you know, you can't, you, people just can't make it work. And the lady that he's got running, the Federal Finance Housing Authority, the FHFA, Federal Housing Finance Authority. Is that Connie? You know uh, Connie. No, it's not Connie. It's oh. another lady. She okay. was she was a Southside Chicago gal, wants all a bunch about everybody to be you know, have equal access to money. People with 620 credit scores should get better rates than people, you know, than people with 740 credit scores. And she added two more layers of credit score qualifications, which weren't needed to make it harder for good credit score borrowers to get the lowest rates. It's just ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So she, she added all of this nonsense which prohibits good credit score borrowers. And you have 740 credit score, you're pretty good. Yeah. Now you need 780. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Okay, if you're above 740 like it's been for prior 22 years, you should get the lowest rate. Well, especially in a situation that we're in with Correct. credit card numbers through the roof. You don't make it harder. And she I mean, added more overlays for cash out refinances, which makes it even more expensive for people to do cash out refinances. So some of the stuff... This is going to kill David Huckberg. This I is going to kill is. him. I don't understand. All I'm right, just, so... I'm, I'm just working on. Uh, uh, I don't. I just listen. Andrea, I, get him a hot washcloth. I did last um, time. When we come back from this break, Mr. Hochberg will we tell you break. what he was thinking about. Um, and and I can't stop him. Uh, I wish I could. Uh, on the big eighty nine WLS. Listen, uh, the hundredth uh, anniversary of WLS is sponsored in part by Comet Energy Efficiency Program, partnering with your business to save money and energy. And Fox Valley Coins, Illinois' premier rare coin and precious metals dealer. Um, we're gonna light the we're gonna light the candles. Yes, and Hawkberg's gonna join you in singing. Unfortunately, David, we're out of time for you to talk about your bathroom. Right. I don't think I'll, I'll save, oh. it. save it yeah. for the next time. Nick, Can I'll come in in fifteen you. seconds. Yeah, so right, go. I'm working on an hour's sleep. I had to go to the bathroom before I, I came in here. I went in the bathroom for some reason. They have three stalls, but they've got room for five. Yeah. So I pull up typically to the first one because yeah. I'm courteous. Sure. And there's no stall there. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I almost started to pee <laughs> on the wall. See, Whoa. I knew. See, I, I just want to let you know, one yes, hour of uh, sleep. I knew it was I, worth the wait. I've, I'm still young enough to have the grip to That's then great. lock oh, it down great. and move it on. Moving on. You're all welcome. I didn't, I didn't. And Nick, I appreciate you really insisting that uh, well, David gets the story. because usually David has a good story. Yeah. But, but this he's time on one hour of sleep. And vote this vote. 
vote mm-hmm. no for this uh, this this housing Million thing. Tax. Which is Chicago a joke. home. Yeah, we're that's doing a, a live show on election day, eleven to one. We're going to ask you to. Uh, uh, oh, call please, me. yes. And Let uh, me know. to calm David down, we should uh, right. we should sing Happy Birthday before. Yeah, going into the news right now. A, uh, and Michael, uh, as bad as this is going to be, feel free to fade it at any time and go right to the news. <laughs> uh, Facebook Live on uh, at Steve Cochran. Good morning. And then. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. President. Happy birthday to you. Stop, Michael. Ah! Yeah, the old geezer still got some in his lungs. <laughs> <laughs>